Today, we got some exciting news from Samsung regarding their upcoming Galaxy 35 and Galaxy 55 phones. Stay tuned as we dive into the latest details and improvements. But before we begin, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and ring the notification bell to stay updated on all things tech. Now let's get started. Samsung is gearing up for the release of their Galaxy 35 and Galaxy 55 phones, emphasizing an enhanced focus on repairability. The company has officially shared repair scores for these upcoming models, promising easier fixes compared to their predecessors. The scores recently unveiled in France showcase improvements in design and support. The Galaxy A35 and A55 have slightly better repairability scores than the 2023 models, with the A55 scoring an impressive 8.5 and the A35 not far behind at 8.4 out of 10. In comparison, the Galaxy F54 and F34 achieved scores of 8.4 and 8.3, respectively. According to official documents, the Galaxy F55 outshines its counterparts in requiring fewer and less complex tools for disassembly, easier part detachment, and longer availability of replacement parts to comply with European regulations. Surprisingly, while the A35 may not be as easy to disassemble as the A34, it excels in other categories resulting in a higher overall repairability score than its predecessor. Samsung has yet to disclose release plans for the Galaxy A35 and A55, but considering we're approaching the one-year anniversary of the Galaxy A34 and A54 on March 14, it's safe to assume that the 2024 models will hit the market soon. Samsung seems to be following a trend seen with the Galaxy S24 flagship models, emphasizing ease of disassembly and part availability. Now let's take a closer look at the design. Thanks to renowned leaker Evan Blass, we have clearer images revealing all the colors these phones will come in. The Galaxy F35 features a new Infinity O screen design with a small hole for the front camera, departing from the older Galaxy F34's U shaped notch. The Galaxy F55 takes it a step further, introducing a metal frame for added strength and quality, a first for the Galaxy S series. Both phones adopt Samsung's new design style called Key Island and are available in four stunning colors black, green, pink, and white. Recent images also suggest that the Galaxy A35 and A55 might boast an IP67 rating for dust and water resistance, along with knock security features. The borders around the screens appear to be smaller, providing a sleeker look. Additionally, both phones pack a powerful 5,000 mAh battery and support fast charging up to 25 watts. So are you excited about the upcoming Galaxy A55? Let me know your thoughts in the comments section below. As always, don't forget to like this video if you found it informative and share it with your friends. Stay tuned for more updates, and until next time, peace out. As we all know, the Samsung Galaxy A55 5G is releasing, so let's talk about it. If you have already watched this video, you can skip this part. The much-anticipated Galaxy A55 is on the horizon, and we have got all the details you need. Samsung's Galaxy A50 series has been a standout in the smartphone market, particularly for its impressive features at an attractive price point. Following the success of the Galaxy F54, Samsung is gearing up for the release of its successor, the Galaxy F55. Let's delve into everything we currently know about this eagerly awaited device. Going by historical patterns, Samsung typically unveils its Galaxy A series phones towards the end of the first quarter, so we can anticipate the Galaxy F55 to hit the stage around March 2024, following the release schedule of its predecessors. Shifting gears to variance in pricing, Bluetooth side data hints at three Galaxy A55 models, SMA556B, SMA556E, and SMA556E underscore DS. The SMA556B seems tailored for Europe, while the others may target Asian markets. While exact pricing details are scarce if we consider past generations, the Galaxy A54 at £449 slash $449, the Galaxy A53 at £399 slash $449, and the Galaxy A52 at £399 slash $499. It's reasonable to expect the Galaxy A55 to stay below the £500 slash $500 mark. Design. Leaked renders showcase the Galaxy A55 in three captivating colors. Awesome ice blue, awesome lilac, and awesome navy. Inspired by the A54, it features the key island design with a subtly raised frame around the power and volume keys, confirming a sleek metal build. The phone has rounded corners, a protruding rear camera array, and a flat display with a noticeable bezel and a punch hole for the selfie camera. Expected dimensions, 161.1 x 77.3. 
8.2 millimeters, 6.3 x 3.0, 0.32 inches display. Now, turning our attention to the display. While exact details on the Galaxy A55's display specs remain uncertain, if Samsung continues with the A54's display, users can expect satisfaction. Speculations point towards a 6.5-inch flat display featuring a centered Infinity O front camera. Anticipated specifications include full HD plus resolution and a refresh rate of up to 120 Hz. Given the A54's impressive display, any enhancements in this area will surely elevate the overall user experience. Performance. Now, let's talk about performance. The Galaxy A55 continues the series evolution, moving from the criticized Exynos 1280 to the improved Exynos 1380 in the A54. Now, it's rumored to feature the latest Exynos 1480, a promising upgrade. According to Geekbench 6 results, this new Soak is expected to be paired with an unconventional GPU choice, the Eclipse 530 based on AMD's RDNA2 architecture. While the CPU improvements may not be groundbreaking, the shift in GPU could potentially enable the A55 to support ray tracing in games, although this feature is yet to be confirmed. The A55 prototype scored 1127 in the single-core test and 3090 in the multi-core test, surpassing the A54 by a slight margin. The device is expected to retain 8GB of RAM, maintaining a balance between performance and efficiency. Cameras. Shifting our focus to the camera setup, rumors suggest that the Galaxy A55 might not bring significant changes in this department. The Galaxy Club report suggests no major changes, but that's not necessarily bad news. The A54 delivered impressive photos for its price. While the rear camera setup seems consistent, unfortunately, there's no news on any front camera updates. If the leaks are accurate, the Galaxy A55 might continue to use the same 32-megapixel front camera sensor as its predecessor, the Galaxy A54. While the A54's front camera delivers decent performance, some users may have hoped for an upgrade given the iterative nature of smartphone releases. Battery and charging. Now onto the Galaxy A55's battery and charging. TUV Rhineland certification reveals 25 VLU fast charging with 9V and 2.55 as support. The 3C certification reinforces Samsung's dedication to fast charging in mid-range phones. While exact battery details are limited, we anticipate reliable 5,000 mAh cell for extended usage. Network and connectivity. Moving on to network and connectivity, the Bluetooth SIG certification reveals that the Galaxy F55 will sport Bluetooth 5.3, matching the capabilities of its predecessor, the A54. Consistent connectivity ensures a smooth user experience, especially with wireless accessories. Software. Last but certainly not least, let's talk about the software. The Galaxy F55 is gearing up for launch with Android 14 and Samsung's One UI 6, promising a seamless and user-friendly experience. This combo suggests exciting enhancements to Samsung's ecosystem. Plus, users can anticipate robust software support with the possibility of receiving four major Android updates throughout the device's lifespan. Stay tuned for those latest Android advancements. Thank you.